Good morning, folks. Top story, and it's almost undeniable. Our friend Sunsflare has caught NASA red-handed faking Mars pictures. The link to his video is below. A report came out against fracking here in the U.S., but it's now coming under heavy fire from the big gas companies, even as local residents continue to get sick and die. Top quake of the day, the 6.0 in the Solomon Islands that rang as high as 6.5 on local charts. We also registered an unusual mid-sized quake near Sweden and Norway. We need locals to confirm this one. The super typhoon is now just a typhoon as the winds dropped slightly, but make no mistake about the danger of this system as it tracks toward Okinawa with the sister cyclone just to the right spinning away. Something interesting here, take a look at the shear from the super typhoon coming off and sucking right up into that sister storm on the right. Of course, that storm has shear on the north side as well, going further east across the Pacific, where it goes into the cyclonic system over Alaska. Typhoon triple. This is pretty cool to look at. Australia climate forecasts are out. They expect higher than average temperatures for almost the entire country. More rain than usual up north, less down south. The cyclone forecast comes out in a few days, but until then, here's the last 100 years or so of Aussie cyclones. Last 10 years they've made available here. Had a gamma burst last night, came from the constellation Hydra, which right now rises just trailing south of Venus in the AM sky. The primary active regions on the sun are swinging in on the southeastern limb here on the HMI magnetogram. We need to view it like this to get both the intensity and the magnetics on there. Could have some little spots developing around that big leading umbra. If so, it'll be party time. However, the sun's a lush, didn't wait for the new spots to pop off a big one. There was no flare here, but a very significant filament eruption that created enough magnetic instability to blast coronal particles out in a tremendous CME that will hit Earth in the coming two to three days. But the Earth footprint was just south of that blast site with lots of connectivity nearby. So the Earth took an energy surge as well, and we are currently experiencing a polar radiation storm. This doesn't show the radiation, rather the D-region effects, but the affected area is a good facsimile. Hopefully none of you live in the red zone. Less than one degree separate the Earth, Sun, and Uranus today. They can join tomorrow, followed by the full moon and a big start to October. Flares and quakes are on watch currently. Keep eyes open with no fear. It's pushing 6 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.